contesting Nigerian presidency, you, you are keeping billions of naira to share. I haven't any. Okay, so, but you, you you know the perception out there. Of course, the perception yeah. is there. So how but, would how would that change? Well, uh, over time, for example, now in Kano, uh, my participation, the mobilization of the people, the people saw what we did in the past, in when we were in the public service and they voted me and see they've seen what we've given so it's gradual that's what i said it takes you several jumps to get out of the uh, of the ditch we are gradually enlightening people i contested in 2011. i remember Obasanjo commented uh, at the end of the election he said governor kano you, you you are the right candidate unfortunately you belong to the wrong party <laughs> whatever that meant so but what is important is let's keep try let's keep putting ourselves you see what the evil request to thrive is for the good to keep quiet okay. yes so what do we expect from your uh is it newfound partnership of friendship with uh, former governor Kwankozo? i think uh we are trying to cultivate that closeness that understanding and i think over the time uh, both of us, uh, we have probably realized where we got it wrong. Uh, we've done our little best. Uh, he has moved to APC when he thought he was getting it right, and we pulled out of APC, not because he came into APC, but because of the fraudulent things the leadership of AP APC was putting on the table then. I was one of the facilitators of APC. Three of us led the formation of APC. So... Uh, our coming together is now giving us uh, that concern, uh, especially back home. We realize that we need to join hands to uh, promote togetherness, to promote oneness, and I think it's uh, given us a very positive development. Now that Kano will now be will be working together, it's not about voting out anybody out of office. It's about coming together and let's carry our people along. It is the delivery of service that we are all after, whoever gets the opportunity. What's your views to the recent uh, uh, development in Kano State where the deputy governor yeah. has uh, resigned, resigned mm. and uh, citing irreconcilable differences with mm. the governor, yeah. uh, the present governor? Mm. How do you, what's, what's going on there? Well, I think it's, uh, it's not, I'm not totally surprised because those of us on ground have known that it has not been all that uh, good. The deputy governor has been a disciple of Concoso, of course, uh, all along. All of them were with him. You know, the governor had been with Concoso for 16 years, all through right from his day one to the end. Somehow along the line, they fell out. And uh, the deputy governor is more aligning with Concoso and uh, the, the, the sitting governor at the moment, uh, for reasons best known to themselves, have disagreed and they're all parallel now. And uh, as a result of that, with the deputy aligning more with Concoso and the governor no longer working uh, or having peaceful coexistence with, uh, with Concoso, he felt that the deputy governor has not been loyal enough and uh, we understand there has been a gradual uh, disengagement kind of uh, for for a while the, it has not been uh, quite uh, peaceful among themselves we know so i'm not surprised he has really thrown out the towel and uh, has resigned he has not pronounced where to go but eventually i'm sure he's coming to pdp as his uh, <laughs> but your, master your, has <clears throat> you seem to have handled it differently because uh yeah. correct me if i'm wrong your friends uh, the, the PPS, Commissioner for Special Duties, SSG, they haven't resigned. How are you able to manage some of the, uh, You mean the current government? Yes. Well, uh, they are in current government, aren't they? They are, they, are. they remain. They, but remain. they haven't resigned. Does no. it mean you're managing your relationship with the current government very well? No, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The SSG of the current government? The SSG, the PPS, the Commissioner no, for Special no, they no, say no. We, we hear people say that these are your, allies, your close allies as well. Me? So no, they say, no, 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 that's not true. That's not they're true. not? They're not. We've never been in the same party at all with them. They have been allies of uh, Ganduji, the sitting governor. They, have not, they are not part of us at all. Uh, if 
they were, they would have left much earlier. In fact, I haven't any person that I facilitated or responsible for his appointment into that government. Don't forget, the APC have been PDP even before the election. So it's entirely an APC government while I'm in PDP. He and Konkosu were in APC and probably they knew where they disagreed among themselves. And, uh, but is, is, is it true that the, the governor, the mm -hmm. current governor, mm -hmm. your entitlements, entitlements at the time, which wasn't paid by Konkosu, he eventually did all those yeah. calculations yeah. And, and paid all those? No, no, he did. So you're not politically or in any way going to perhaps repay the gesture? No, no, no. That's, that, that's my due. That's my entitlement. There wasn't anything special about that. See, Konkoso didn't pay for reasons best known to him, and today he's walking back to work with me. You see, uh, Malamine Kano used to say one very philosophical statement, whoever denies you a room to sleep overnight will still see you in the morning. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so Konkoso has come to see me now in spite of his denial of my entitlement. It was paid anyway. So the, while we're at this point of the back and forth, the alignment, realignment, and all. The issue of Godfatherism, yeah. how is it playing out in Canada and the rest of the country? Well, I think, you see, I actually frown at what you call Godfatherism. Uh, it's different from what I've always said. I have leaders in a party. I respect leaders, and one needs to have leaders. But it's different from Godfatherism, uh, who think because he's... Uh, funding you. You see, that's the problem. I, 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 I think I was very lucky. In 2003, I didn't have any godfather. And nobody came in with the money back to sponsor. Do you have now? No, I do not have. But I have leaders that I respect. That does not mean I'm respecting them because they are giving me I have no political godfather. I have no money back. For, uh, are you godfather. one? Pardon? Are you a godfather? No, 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 no. no. I, I am <laughs> not. I am not. I have people that really respect me and su support me and wait for me to guide them because of my experiences and the positions I've held. That's why I said we need to distinguish between leaders that have been respected, leaders that give guidance to those uh, under them. Uh, it's different from the usual godfatherism whereby simply because I bankroll, you are coming into office, they dictate and uh, they want to interfere, they want to make sure the only what they want is done in government. This is largely part of the problem between outgoing governors and those they anointed into office. 80, 90 percent of the cases... I'm, I'm concerned because Amin Kano was... was, was is your godfather? Uh, as well, it's, it's, what was, it's, 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 was, no, I mean, was your Kano godfather? is and my hero, and uh, I, I, I look forward to him as a very uh, exemplary political leader. So, not a concerning the factions, yeah. the factions, the political factions and the groups uh, in in Kano State, yeah. uh, many are expecting that perhaps um, the Aminu Kano faction, or even the um, uh, the uh, what. Well, that Aminu and Abu Karimi faction. Abu Karimi, yes. Those are two very strong, powerful yes. uh, factions in Kano State. They're yes. expecting that perhaps that will be the defining uh, platform no, on, which, think, on which we have a president or even who becomes no, the next no, no, I think I think we have uh, overcome that. The faction of Aminu Kano and Rimi of the uh, early, late 70s and early 80s is almost gone now, you see. Uh, it's only in the history, what we call the Tabo and Sensei factions. Most of these factions were the ones that came and formed the then SDP, NRC, and many of them have melted into PDP, APC, and so on. So there had been a lot of uh, cross-fertilization among all the uh, members of the various factions we are referring to. I think we've overcome that. Nobody's talking. I mean, Kano is gone, Rimi is gone, because by now uh, about 80, 90 percent of the principal actors of the late 70s faction of I Amin mean, Kano, the PRP and so on, are gone. So we're not talking about that. Uh, probably new groupings are coming up, and this will continue to form all these uh, divisions. For example, now, uh, of course, I have my followership, Konkoso has his. And by this new development, 
Uh, we are now coming together, our people are talking to themselves and we are appealing to all of them to get together. Unfortunately, the sitting governor is not going to find it easy because uh, he's now on the other side of the divide and uh, he's going to have a receiving end. And of course, we hope to defeat him and take over Kano and uh, take over Nigeria. What's your impression about uh, this question of restructuring? Oh, perfect. I am for restructuring. You see, my only problem is that people have different definitions of restructuring. Some are selfish, some are regional. If you talk to an ordinary South South man, his own understanding of restructuring is uh, resource control. If you talk uh, probably an average man in the South, his own restructuring is give us additional state. And uh, probably the same in the South, where you're talking of some are saying, let's go back to parliamentary system the 1960 constitution, and to some extent resource control of, as well because of the port authority and what comes out of it. Uh, so there are, I believe there are as many definitions of resource, I mean restructuring as the number of people propagating it. What I believe is that my understanding of restructuring is let's keep talking. Nigeria is a product of dialogue, is the product of negotiation. The amalgamation of uh, uh, 100 years ago between the Southern and Northern Protectorates was negotiated even though by the British, but in the end they brought us together. Uh, we had the first constitution, we talked together. It's through negotiation we would have had the, the independence much earlier than 1960. It was negotiated between the Southern and Northern leaders. It was pushed later to 1960. Negotiation gave us that. Negotiation gave us the joint governments, the parliamentary system. When the military came, they had so many constitutional conferences, political conferences, and so on. These are all part of negotiation. I think we still need to continue talking to ourselves. And uh, with that, I agree uh, with restructuring. Let's get to the table and keep talking. Let's continue to understand ourselves accommodate ourselves. The more we understand our differences, the better for us. So right. I think I support restructuring. I am for it. And uh, given the chance, if I become president tomorrow, we will put on table this issue of restructuring. Let's all get together, mix up all the, un the understanding of restructuring, all right. and come up with what will move us forward. As it is, we can't talk anymore because we're out of time. We <laughs> thank, thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Shakara, former governor of Kano State and former minister of education. As you heard, he is also vying for the number one seat in the country. We will be back in a moment. Don't go away. <laughs>